she's royal, yeah, so royal. Yeah, yeah change my shift to them, man, because me and you can't see and I see them out when it's on that. No problem to neck back. Shift change, can I help you, man? You better tell whoever I write you say your address moves. You take a cool beer, man, because you know, look like I caught one catch bonfire. For my spot, they must catch your mouth too. Yeah. Wow. But we're talking about Whitcliffe Bennett. When we speak of Whitcliffe Bennett, we speak of the arts, we speak of theatre, we speak of broadcasting. Mr. Bennett, Colon, Panama, why did your parents go there? Well, my parents were missionaries. As you join me here on the tarmac at the Norman Manley International Airport, we are awaiting the arrival of the 44th President of the United States of America, Barack Hussein Obama. Ah, and here he is, the 44th President of the United States of America, about now to make his way down these steps to touch down on Jamaican soil. Faye Audrey Ellington, affectionately called Auntie Faye, is well-loved and celebrated by all Jamaicans. Born and raised in her dearly beloved parish of Clarendon, she has risen to the heights of journalism, hailed as a master broadcaster, actress, master of ceremonies, lecturer, trainer, and speaking coach. In 1998, she was awarded the Order of Distinction in the rank of officer for the performing arts. Since then, her continued contribution to the fields of communication, media, education, and culture has far exceeded the level of officer. Now celebrating 41 years in media, Faye Ellington has again been recognized with a national honor in 2015, the Order of Distinction Commander Class. This long time, girl, me never see you. Come and behold you, and it is a long time. Faye Ellington's extensive knowledge of broadcast presentation, programming, and production with specialization in the coverage of national and state events, spans more than four decades. In that time, she has hosted the television streaming of the annual National Honors and Awards Ceremony, a collaborative effort with the Jamaica Information Service. This year, 179 persons will be receiving awards, and these are persons in whom, as Jamaicans, we are well proud. Her work in radio and television, which began in 1974 and included 12 years as the host of Morning Time on the then JBC, is regarded as a benchmark for industry standards. In 1988, she received a Bronze Musgrave Medal for her contribution to broadcasting. And in December 2012, Faye Ellington was recognized by the Press Association of Jamaica as an outstanding news anchor and veteran journalist. She's also a British Broadcasting Corporation BBC certified trainer. And if you sin, condemn you so. And it's I was scratching to my eyes, I'm tearing up. It's a very simple harmony, you know, but and that's the key. It's that's beautiful. the key to it. People think that you have to add something. But how the people sing comes from their very souls. And all you have to do is listen. Outside of reaching out to our young people, our children, especially those who have found themselves dispossessed, disadvantaged, mm. unfulfilled, <clears throat> I know that that is a passion. But is there any one thing outside of that that Olive Lloyd has not yet done that she wants to do very bad? Oh, so many things, Faye. So many, so many things. This long time, girl, may never see you. Come and behold you. An accomplished actress, Ms. Ellington, has received several nominations, awards, and accolades for her riveting and diverse portrayals in theater. She received an Actor Boy Award in 2005. When dark marker, he ain't big. And when puss hungry, he knows clean. But every puss and dark no know what independence mean. Matty say it mean with PST. Stand up and with dignity. And we don't allow nobody to take liberty with me. More some over, we must tell Mark that we don't like the position. Please kindly take me out of sea and draw me in a ocean. And it's not only in communication and the arts that this outstanding Jamaican has made an indelible mark. Long is the list of her contributions to public service. Her experience and record need no explanation. But it's also her affable nature, warm smile and endearing personality which have no doubt given Ms. Ellington longevity and high honors in her career. 
securing a place in the hearts of Jamaicans home and abroad. Thank you. Could I have a fanfare Fab Five? Give me a proper fanfare now, guys. If you'll allow me, I'm just going backstage to change into my swimwear. <laughs> you know, I think so. We can wear swimwear. We have nice legs, you know. And she's right.